building a flight cage, if you want to build it with me, you can you can get four foot. You need four of these to start with for the top and bottom, and then 16 inches. And you want to screw these like this. You don't want it this way. It's going to make your cage longer than you want it. And it's exactly four foot long, so by 16, by 16 inches. When you get the two top and bottom, this would be the top or bottom, and there should be two of them. And then after that, you want to take a 22 and a half by a 16, and make sure this is on the outside like this. Well, it's on, it's called the outside. And then I'm gonna screw them inside there. I gotta do two of these, so. You should have two of these, and then two of the big ones. And then, you lay one flat. And what you want to do is line up the corner so it's flush. Like that. Your side should look like this when all on. And then for your top. Those ass. You want it to line up the same as the bottom. As the bottom. You might want to flip upside down. Put it together. To put it together, you want it, it might flip itself. After you get the top on, you're going to want four more 16s. And then to go in between here, you want a 45 one. You're going to need four of those two. And then this goes screwed into the 45 one. Okay, for measuring it, it's actually 45 and a third line after you here, measure. It's hard to do this with one hand. And the whole thing fell. <laughs> For measuring of there to here, it's actually not 45, it's a couple after. So, you need two of those. Okay, this should fit once you cut them. And then you want to put your screws from here into these, just this. Right now it's just wedged in there. So you want to make another frame from inside it. This is the inner frame. You want to wedge it into place. So, I gotta wedge this into place. It's all in. And since it was so fun doing that, you want to do another one for the bottom. And you have to flip it upside down to do this. Before you put this in, you're going to put bracers, two of them on each top and bottom, which is 14 and a half inches. Like that. Before you wedge it in. Once you have your bracers in, it should look like this. Nice and flushed. You don't want to screw it in yet. Next you're going to want 22 and a half, four of them, to go right here and on each corner. So that's 22 and a half. I got my four cut right there. Then you want to measure in between the two. And it should be around right here. When you measure, you want to measure from inside this piece all the way to the other side, and then you want to wedge it in there. But don't you don't want to screw them all together until it knows it fits nice and snug. You want to do this two times, one for each side. When you're ready to, to put the inner frame in, you want to drill on the 22 ones. You want to drill a hole here and here. Pre-drill your hole so it's easier. Otherwise, you split this wood because it's so thin. You want to do this for each side, so. When you build the frames, it should look like this. And then you just want to wedge it into place for now. I'm going to stop the camera for this. Okay, it's wedged in, but I don't have it flushed right now because i got to take this out to do the bracer bars. i got to make one for the side now. So, same thing. You want to do for both sides. Okay, I got my both of these on each side. And next, you want to measure from top to bottom for your bracers. 
I'm going to have a divider, so I'm going to have two braces next to each other, but not too close so the board can slide in. So I'm going to do that six, six, eight times. I got to do two, four, six, eight for each side, so. Okay, the divider is going to be, well, it's not in yet, but it's going to be a space. However it's thickness your divider is going to be, if you're putting dividers. If not, you just want to put a bracer then in between the back and so, so that when you mesh it, it has something to staple to. So, I gotta put my dividers in. If you're putting a divider in, this is just sitting there right now, and you don't want that gap, what you could also do is put one of these flat and attach it to this brace. You might need a longer screw and I would definitely pre-drill it, otherwise this will split. Which I actually might do that. Or you could flip the whole thing up and drill it right to this. Actually, I might do that instead. So it's less of a gap. That's if you put a divider in. If not, you can skip this step. But if you put in a divider in, this is why you don't want to put this completely on the rest of it or the back either. Because so, you want to pull this out to put your two pieces in here. That's why mine is just sitting inside there. But you just want to make sure it fits, so. When the braces are in, it should go like that. On both sides. I didn't do the other side yet, so. I got all my dividers, braces in, and I'll use, where did it go? This is a thickness. Slides right in. I did add, well, that's not in right now, but I did to the top, so it's no gap. But I attached the top one to this bracer, but I'm not doing that with the bottom one. I gotta attach it with this one because I gotta put mesh on it and my tray is gonna pull out and down. This is gonna be a dropout tray. If you, or you could just mesh the bottom if you buried it outside year round. I guess it won't matter. But that's that. Now I gotta start on the door frames. So that's the next thing. I think that's how I'm gonna do my doors. You can do your doors however you want. But I'm gonna have this, well this is gonna be up higher. And I'm going to have another frame inside here that's going to be hinged to this wood. And this right here will be my door. I'm going to do this three times. So you can do your doors however you want. So just want to measure and then make another frame. And then the frame inside there for your door to hinge on to and open. So okay, I got my beams for the middle here, right here, and across. I'm probably going to put my door down here so I can just open them and feed them from the bottom. And then these will be for grabbing when I need them for breeding. And then on the side, you're going to want to measure inside so your nice little bracers again. And then put one in between. I still got to put this in it though. I'm going to probably take a longer screw and go from the inside this one in. Because this obviously don't come out. I mean it could but it would be a lot of work. So I'm going to do that on both sides. We got one door down. It's right here. I just got to do that two more times. When you have all the boards in this now, it should look when you mesh it and stuff. The tray's done. I didn't explain the tray. So this is the tray. What I mean by drop out, it's going to drop out. It's raining, so. But it's still mesh. So in the summer, I can leave it down. And in the winter, I can put it up for insulation. But both of them do that, so. That's what, how my tray is. I got most of the mesh on, except these two, and I've been putting, I put all the perches on. Got quite a few toys in there. This is all the way through. I just need to finish the mesh on this one. This one's basically done besides adding stuff. I put this on because I think it's supposed to rain. But that's what this one looks like. And that's the size they're in now. That's one in. The nails over there. So, pretty soon I'm going to be moving them over. But that's that.